Welcome to my castle here on Ragnarok. This is probably the biggest castle that I've built uh, in Ark yet, and it's not entirely practical, but it all started with this builder's hut uh, that I made just to start uh, creating all the pieces. Um, it, I also you know, threw in some a bed and some crafting and storage stuff here. But uh, anyway, this, this is... I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. There's a lot to show here. And um, one thing I want to point out right away is that I do not usually plan ahead. I have a rough idea of what I want in my head, but uh, I just kind of build it as I go. Uh, and you can kind of tell by that roof there, <laughs> this keep, which is the first part of the castle that I built, is not a true hexagon. It has uh, two of the sides are, are smaller than the others. But this is the first part I built. Uh, I intended to use this keep more, but I actually don't use it at all. And um, part of that is because I was shooting for something that looked cool and um, was somewhat partially realistic. And so I wind up with a lot of uh, conflicting design elements. And, um, and, you know, the intention was I would land flyer, a few flyers up here and, uh, you know, maybe have some crafting stuff in here. And I think that would work, you know, but there's not enough room up here for a lot of harvesting tames and stuff like that. So, uh, so it just didn't work. But, um, uh, and then because it's not a true hexagon, the roof didn't line up, but I thought, I thought I would have fires and, and forges and stuff in here. So realistically you would need a place for the smoke to escape. And that's what that was all about. Um, let's see, not much to mention on this level. On this level, obviously you've got, um, an ac access to the curtain wall over here and then the balcony for looking at the waterfall, which I think this balcony is actually really cool. I took some time to sort of design that and uh, I think it's actually cool. I also think that this is cool um, right here. Uh, also of note, I thought there was a secret door here somewhere. There is. <laughs> so there's a secret door that leads into the curtain wall and you can actually get pretty much anywhere. There, there's a short section like um, now we're in we're in the first tower that I made, and this tower. Ooh, <laughs> I messed that tower up. Um, there's some oddities inside the curtain wall, but you can get all the way over to the armory terrace. And so here's my armory. Uh, that tower... Oh, okay, it's not messed up. So, one thing, one other thing you'll notice that's a result of me not... You know, just kind of making it up as I go, is that every tower is a little bit different. Um, we will talk about the armory again here in a minute. Uh, this is the kitchen... And it is right off the, the main keep. This stuff out here is just for looks. This isn't where I grow crops. Uh, I was going to grow crops here. But then I decided to just build a greenhouse instead. Um, so in here we've got basically all the necessary stuff. These come with the castles, keeps, and forts. Um, and this is cool because you can actually irrigate it. And then here we can get right into the keep. So this is a section where there's not a curtain wall secret uh, passage access um, just because I you know I didn't really think through how to do that when I built it but we're in the curtain wall now we can run to each tower and each tower has two levels the curtain wall has a top and you know has an inside portion and a top and then here is this ladder outside the kitchen area or ladder steps um, to get back up on the curtain wall okay so now Let's go back uh, to the armory. The armory was really the second place I built. And this is the most important building and most used building in the map uh, or in the castle. Uh, this isn't as good as my last one on... Uh, I think I'm hungry. Yeah. This isn't uh, as useful of an armory as uh, I had on Valguero. Uh, 
And I, th I think that um, I started this idea on my last Ragnarok server where I, I had kind of a, a drive-in armory with chests that were close by so you could pull a dinosaur in here and offload it pretty easily. Um, on Valguero, I really, really liked the way that, that one worked. And I was trying to make sort of a similar thing here, but it's a little bit smaller. Um, the depth is kind of the wrong direction, but it works pretty well. So out here we've got a patio where I keep these guys because I use them the most and the RG to carry them around. This castle's keeps and forts. This is like an industrial furnace. It's really slick. Um, I usually use wind power, but here you wouldn't you wouldn't believe it looking at this place. This should be a really windy place, but it's not. So um, I wound up just building a uh, a generator, but um, we'll go down in the basement real quick. This is all the mod crafting that I have. So. Uh, medieval structures, and then, what is this? This is, uh, I don't remember this mod. But you can build trees and stuff like that. I, I don't remember what it's called. Uh, there is an ex exit here as well. This isn't super well thought out either. This part isn't, but uh, that's okay. Oh yeah, we were going to go upstairs. I always build two of these. So I make gunpowder and spark powder over here. I make stimulant and narco narcotics over there. It doesn't really matter, but that's just the way I do it. Um, of course, we can get up to the curtain wall. I threw a bed down here because it was a uh, decent space. And then, of course, I was going to keep flyers up here, but I've just started keeping my Dimetrodon army up here. Now, this is my replacement for Jedi Greenie. You'll remember I got my Jedi Greenie Dimorphodon killed um, then I found this one off in the Redwoods. It was, it's the highest level one I have. Um, and definitely the highest health one. Pretty high on damage, too. So then you can come up here, and this is this was just intended to be sort of an overlooking, you know, the river area kind of a defensive position. Okay. Now, on to the curtain walls for now. Um, this, I'm not exactly sure why I built this, but I kind of wanted to be able to look down over my courtyard, I guess. Oh well. Um, and then this tower was really, I was trying to put two towers together and I kept getting into a position where the roof didn't work at all. You can see there's some quirks here, but it kind of works. Um, it's, it is a larger tower. And then uh, you can get down to this, which is um, kind of a defensive area outside the tower, lower down. So, you know, you would, in theory, in real life, you'd have guys up there, you'd have guys here, they'd all be able to shoot down, all that good stuff. So let's go down to the farmyard area. Um, this, I was going to raise a bunch of sheep, but mostly I just wanted the dung beetle for fertilizer. I wound up with two sheep, and there's so many sheep around this area, I didn't really need to bother with um, raising more sheep. So we've got a few tames out here, and then we've got the greenhouse. This greenhouse isn't perfect, but down here we've got vegetable fruit, uh, citronelle, that kind of stuff and some storage for fertilizer and seeds. And then up here we've got stem berries and narco berries, and those are the only things I really care about here. Okay, now for this building that's attached to the armory, the intention here was, uh, and here's the entrance to the crafting area, the intention here was for this to be stables, but it doesn't really work very well as stables. It's okay here. I should have just made them all the small um, doors, but then I don't really need that many uh, I don't really need that many small creatures. So the Therizinosaurus barely fits in here. And these things are such a pain to tame and to hatch and raise that I'm not going to bother getting more than four. Uh, they're going to be used in my boss fight. But I hate them. Um, but, you know, so this doesn't work great for an armory, but that's what it was intended to be. And then if you come over here to the other side, there's some steps up. So these are supposed to be just drive through. Um, and then this was going to be like a tack room kind of a thing, but I don't use it. The only thing it's good for is entrance to <laughs> the uh, 
the secret curtain wall area, which this I had to get pretty clever with this. And you can see glitchiness there um, to get this to match back up with the one that goes to the armory deck right there. But we can continue on through the curtain wall here, and then it's going to pop out to another short area where there's not any secret passageways. And that is the the um, the gatehouse wall. So, whoop, there it is. Okay. So here, this is kind of an interesting area. I, I really, one of the things that I like about castles is that they're close and claustrophobic. And so... This part down here was kind of what I was intending to do with the whole thing, and it never really worked. So, you know, you've got an arched passageway that's kind of close and, um, and interesting. And then this is the gatehouse basement, and you can basically just run up into the gatehouse. So this is looking into one of the passageways. And you can just keep running up. So... Uh, the gate kind of glitches through, obviously. Um, whoops, forgot a, forgot a space there. So these are large gateways that go through on both sides. Um, this is backwards. <laughs> there's, some, there's some issues here that I didn't realize. Um, we'll keep going up. So then this is over the giant gateway. And you can open that and you, in theory you'd be able to shoot down at anything that was attacking the gate. Those are hard to close. We'll leave it open. Um, can you shoot through here? Yep, here's some arrow loops so you could shoot. Not not that you'd be doing that in arc necessarily, those arrow loops, embrasures. I think those are called embrasures, are kind of hard to use. But this is look, looking down into the lower courtyard. That's up towards my house. We'll look at that later. This is back towards the keep courtyard. And this is sort of symmetrical. It's not really symmetrical, but as you can see, it's all um, it's all pretty much just a, a layered gatehouse. This is into the curtain wall on the other side. And then this goes up to the top of the curtain wall on the other side, which we didn't go down this cur curtain wall necessarily. Um, there are secret passageways in that curtain wall as well. And then up here we've got Scatha. And I don't know if I can make it past him. Maybe I can here. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got Smaug up here. So. Oh, and there's a tower in between that last one we went into. the. This tower wasn't too bad. It actually kind of worked out. And I sort of liked it. Um, okay. We're going to go back down here. And then we're going to wait until daytime. For the rest. Um, these buildings down here are pre-built buildings. And, and they're not great. Um, I think they look okay. This was going to be barracks. And this was going to be barracks here. For the gatehouse. Not that I have people playing. But... Um, with me but you know just for looks those are barracks and then this is a pub and i really like this building and I, I started detailing it out you have to add all this stuff in you have to add stairs in and things like that so it's a little bit of a pain but i added these walls so there could be bedrooms but i never put bedrooms up here um you know because I, I play solo so <laughs> it doesn't really matter but this was going to be a pub um, but I, I do like the looks of these buildings, you know, uh, it kind of looks like you've got a village going on here. And then up here, we've got a cathedral cause you kind of have to, and, uh, there's not much going on in here. There are, there is a bell tower up there, but you can't get to it because of the way that I built the roof. You can't clear this ladder. Um, so you can't really get to the bell tower. You can, you just can't get it to it a legitimate way. Apparently, I need some more torches over there. We'll go ahead and do the rest of the tour now. It looks fine at night. And we're getting close to the end because there's not as much to show out here. Um, this is the hatchery. you got to have a hatchery. So, refrigerator for storing 
Wyvern milk air, air conditioners for keeping the temp right. Excuse me. <laughs> we have more curtain wall access hidden here. Um, there's stuff coming through the curtain walls back here, but uh, and then we will, yeah, we'll do this gatehouse real quick. We've got some statues. We've got this gatehouse I actually like a lot more than the other one. First and foremost, you've got your normal, you know, shoot at people if they come through the gates. Curtain wall access. Um, got some kind of neat areas here you could hang out if you wanted. Get up to the curtain wall. The curtain wall is really low right here, so it's not, the curtain wall height is not very consistent, but that's okay. Um, and then, obviously, lots of places you could defend this from. You could defend down here. You could also use um, this as a taming pin, sort of, but it, you can't drop anything in from above, so it doesn't really work so well. Uh, out here, whoops, let me go this way. Out here, we've got the party deck. <laughs> so, you got you some more drums and tables. It's it's basically the same on this side as that side. Uh, places to look through to defend the area if you need to. Ways to get up to the top, etc. I know I'm going through it fast, but oh, that's the other Griffin. Okay, <clears throat> and then here's Ann Calligan, and I haven't named that one. This is my new favorite wyvern. Because it's a high level, it's a high level uh, fire wyvern, and I like the fire wyverns better. I just got that one, and Caligan's actually stronger, <laughs> obviously, because it's in Caligan. Whoops. Uh, yeah, my health is all right. Oof! Now it's not. And then we've got so that's just the giant gateway there, and that's the main one for getting my big dinos out and then I just built this one because I wanted to and I really like the the top of this gatehouse it was it's pretty cool it's kind of a multi-level thing I guess we should go up there I know the video is getting super long now but um, you'll also notice I, I used the uh, change to field stone on some of that and and it kind of looks cool I don't really like the gray field stone as much as the cut rock but um, I think it actually adds a lot of contrast. It's kind of neat if you do it right, especially with the way they allowed the um, uh, some of the arches to be still still made of cut stone. So here we drop down into the lower portion of the defensive positions, and then here's the upper portion, kind of looking over. And I don't know how effective these would be, but don't stand on fire. Um, and also when those portcullises open they come up into this space so they never get seen you know uh, they never poke through a ceiling or anything like that I was I was trying to be really detailed on as much of this stuff as I could with how it worked so so that's something that I really like and uh, up here I did have to get kind of creative with how these went together because I was I wound up tying two styles together a little bit, and so these towers are a little bit different, but um, but that's okay. Yeah, it works. Okay, we'll run back down here. Okay, um, two more buildings. Uh, I needed this big courtyard for for storing these guys because I got to get them ready for um, the boss battle. So I'm trying to breed, uh, tame and then breed higher level aloes and rexes. And um, and so I needed more space in my last in Valguero. You'll remember my courtyard wound up becoming quite small. I had way too many tames in there and I didn't have room to maneuver them. Uh, so that's, I'm you know, just trying to make sure I've got plenty of room here. Oh, and look at this guy, Glerung. <laughs> so, Scatha was named Glarung until I found uh, this guy and tamed him. And Glarung was a non-flying dragon, if you remember. So, I switched names. Uh, this this building I just made for fun, and it was just to put the, uh, the windmills up on top. These guys do not interfere. I made sure that they don't interfere. I kind of like them overlapping, but I didn't want them to interfere. So, 
That's what that's all about. Um, I'm, I'm skipping over just a, a ton of details that I kind of want to talk about, but, um, but it would take, just take forever. So, uh, this is not a very detailed gatehouse. You'll see, like, it looks kind of plain and kind of ugly. So I'm not real happy with that. I, I just wasn't, I don't know. It, that one didn't come together. That one really came together. I love that gatehouse. That's, that's the best gatehouse I've ever built. And I could have pretty much my entire base right there with this courtyard for just storing tames. But I could use that pretty easily for um, keeping my harvesting tames and some flyers and crafting stuff and beds and all that. Uh, but then we get to my house. And this is, this is probably one of the parts that is, you know, like 95% complete. Not quite all complete. Um, there are some details I'd like to add. Eventually, there's going to be a statue of Bullseye. Uh, sorry, Ballistic here. Uh, this is Bullseye. And then this one's me. That one's me too, but you know, eventually it's going to be Ballistic. But there's lots of detail here with the various plant mods that you can craft in place and furniture mods and stuff like that. And then you come up to the actual house. I think I'm missing a door over here still, but... Um, We've got a kitchen area. I could put some crafting stuff in here, and I probably will eventually. Uh, I've got a fireplace area. Um, obviously, more detail could go in here. This is going to be a bedroom, but then uh, I'm going to put mine up top. So there will be a bed that goes in here and some other details. So, so you know, there could be a lot more detail here. It's not quite done, but I, really the terrace was what I was going for, and I was shooting sort of shooting for with all of this um, the entire castle with with this mod um, the castles keeps at forts mod I always kind of use uh, if you've ever seen the movie movie La Lady Hawk I kind of use that for inspiration um, although you can't do a lot of the things that I'd like to do that you can see in that castle in Lady Hawk you can't do them here um, but I kind of use that for inspiration and um, and then for this area, I was kind of using some Witcher, you know, in Witcher 3, if you go to uh, Toisant, there's all these like really pretty terraces with lots of gardening and stuff and lights and things like that. So I was kind of using that for inspiration here. So anyway, this is a, like a 95 to 98% done castle. Uh, it's functional. It's not necessarily practical. It took a ton of time to make and um it's it's overkill obviously but i really like building castles and i keep spending forever and ever and ever building castles instead of playing the game but uh, as you can see there's plenty of room for my tames there's plenty of room to uh raise up young uh young tames after you've gotten them out of the hatchery if you had like 200 people there's defensible positions all the way around <laughs> but um, but then it, the lag would just be ridiculous and it's big enough that that it tends to uh, depopulate or, or despawn a lot of the a lot of the stuff if you fly to the other end and then it has to respawn it <laughs> so uh, it's probably a little too big but I have enjoyed building it, and I think, I honestly think it looks good. I think this is the best castle I've ever done. If I could change anything, I would redo this uh, gatehouse. It's too big and too clunky and just too eastern block looking. Um, and then I would probably change this stable to be a little bit bigger, and uh, either bigger or non-existent. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I don't. But... It's a fun castle, and it's going to be really fun to, I think, play Trank Tag with Bullseye and Ballistic in here. So with that, as always, thanks for watching, and I hope that you liked the castle and enjoyed the video.